All right, so just to go through a few more options, I'm going to reset um, in case in case I adjusted anything up here uh, under my render options. I'm going to reset this or revert it. And if I wanted to, I'm going to pick a slightly different view if I want to uh, re-render this. You'll quickly notice that um, the real real estate space becomes really important when rendering. You have a lot of different windows that pop up everywhere. Uh, if for any reason, if you ever want to stop a rendering, uh, once you click render, you can always click the stop button here. Or it'll also, once you click render here, it'll also show up here. Just hit stop. And it should just stop the rendering. Um, okay, so I'm going to come back here to my uh, few more of my options. I'm going to skip the camera one. But I'm going to go to the render output one. This one's really important. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is select safe frame. I'm going to turn this on. And what this does is in whichever view you currently have selected, it will give you the safe frame uh, what will actually be rendered. Uh, and you'll see like an orange, a blue, and a yellow. Uh, different um, um, mediums or different um, companies use these lines differently. So for example, if you're doing this for a video game or doing this for movies, they might use like an orange or the blue for the safe frame. Uh, for us, we're going to be using the yellow. Uh, so as long as it fits within the yellow line, then you're okay. But if you obviously like zoom in too much, and technically you can still see it, but it's like in the gray zone. Uh, and if you click render, you'll notice that it's only going to render what's in that state with inside the yellow uh, safe frame. So just be uh, just be aware of that it's really helpful just to have that turned on. A few other really important options. I'm going to temporarily skip the image width and height, but I'm going to come down here where it says aspect ratio. So here you have a couple options. By the default, it's the 169 widescreen. You can also do square. So here you can see your safe frame is now square. So if you want to render something, again, just make sure that it's inside the yellow. Um, uh, the yellow lines and obviously it'll be rendered as a square uh, you also have the options to do uh, four to three picture uh, the, uh, the four three proportion picture five four proportion landscape four five proportion portrait and again they all adjust accordingly all right so just make sure that it's all within the um, the yellow safe frame so to come back here to um, the image, so this this here is talking about the the resolution, uh, the, the, or the pixels. So if I were to render this and say I want this at 600 by 450, that's going to be the resolution that's going to give me. Um, I can also always increase it. I can say I want 800. And as soon as I adjust the um, the pixels on one, as soon as I click on the other it'll automatically update. So this will be 800 by 600, or say if I want 1,000, this will automatically update. Just keep in mind, I'm going to render this, just keep in mind um, the higher number you go, the more the, the longer your rendering is going to take. Um, so if you go for a really high number, if you come up to the quality that's all the way um, to the high plus, if you turn on the denoiser, de uh, these all increase rendering time. So just just be aware of the all the settings. Obviously, you want um, the the best quality rendering you you can get, but just be aware that, that it also takes some time to render these images. Um, and this uh, save image, if you turn this on, this will automatically save your renderings. Um, um, I'm not gonna. You can you can try this out as an option. Uh, but I'm going to save this rendering once it once it's finished. I'm just going to save the rendering just by clicking the save uh, icon here and and save the image if you wanted to. Uh, 